Hello viewers, welcome to your creation. Today I will show you how to create this gift voucher in Photoshop. You can download this template from Etsy. I will attach the link in the video description. So before starting the tutorial, if you are new in my channel, then please hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon. Now we open Adobe Photoshop, then click on create new button. Now we put 2550 in white section and 1050 in height section. The color mode will be CMYK and click on create button now we'll place a logo so drag and drop the logo in the document Now we will decrease the logo size. And place them in the left corner. We will add a section divider. <coughs> Now we select the type tool and replace it with shop. Now we'll change the text font. The new text font will be Nexa bold and the font size will be 48. Okay, perfect. Now we will add another text. So select the type tool and the new text will be gift voucher and the font will be Nexa light. And the font size will be 22. Okay. The font color will be blue. Okay, perfect. Now we select the rounded rectangular tool and the radius size will be 10 pixel. Okay, the rectangular color will be black we will change the color and we will duplicate this rectangle again so press ultra from the keyboard and drag and drop to the right side we will change the rectangular color to blue ok perfect now we will increase the two rectangular size a little bit ok perfect now we will select uh, again <coughs> the type tool to create another text the new text will be special and the font will be roboto medium And the font color will be white. 
okay we will decrease the size font size to 15 we will duplicate this text to the right side for 10 percent of Okay, perfect. Now we will add sample text. So select the type tool, then change the font color to black and add some sample text. So select and then copy, then paste this in this text box. Okay. We will reduce the text size to 6 point and the font will be Roboto Light. Okay, now select the move tool and move it to the left side. We will increase the paragraph line gap to 9 feet and change the font color again to little light gray. So perfect. Now we will again select the rounded rectangular tool <coughs> then create a rectangle the rectangle color will be blue we will place call icon just drag and drop the png file Now we will recolor the call icon to white. So select the layer and double click. Then you will see the color overlay option. Click on and choose the white color and click on OK. We will reduce the call icon size. OK, perfect. We will add text for the call icon. Okay, we will change the font to Roboto regular, also the font color. Okay, we will reduce the call icon a little bit. Okay, now perfect. We will duplicate the text again. Now we will duplicate this three layer so just select them and press alt from the keyboard then move them to the right side okay you will change this to your address And we will place an location icon so select the
custom shape tool then click on and select the location icon and create okay we'll change the shape color to white and move this shape over the rectangular okay and now reduce the size okay perfect we have just completed our left section okay now we will create our right section <coughs> so select the pen tool so select the pen tool then create a custom shape We will change this color to little darker. Okay. We have just created our custom shapes. Now we will transform it. So select the two shapes. Ok perfect. We will again create a custom shape. So select the pen tool again. We will again create another shapes.
Okay, perfect. Now we will select these three shapes. Then click on layer, combine shapes, and unit shapes. Now I'll duplicate the shape again. Create clipping mask. Then click on convert to smart object. Then double click on the smart object icon and place an image. Then drag and drop it to the document. And resize it. Then click on check mark. I will save this document. Press Ctrl S from the keyboard. I will see the main document. It will automatically place the fixer. So we have just created our voucher template. Now select the whole left section. Then move them to the proper position. Okay. Now I'll place grid for print area. We will add 7 pixel grid to the left side, bottom side, and top and bottom side. So we have just prepared our print template. So thanks all of my viewers who have enjoyed and learned from this tutorial. Thank you all.